see what's going on. There we go, you got crappie. Keep it, keep it, keep it crappie, you guys. There you go. Keep her crappie, you guys. Right where I left them off at. All right, guys, I just walked down. Just walked down and got a crappie right where I left them off at. So we're gonna see. I had to get off that big body of water. It got a little too windy. It was a little too rough for me. I'm gonna finish off right here by the neighborhood pond. I'm gonna call it a day, man. So we're gonna see what happens here. You can catch these. You can catch these series. Big ass in there. You can. You can catch them double that size on TV. For real. When, when you fillet that, you're gonna see a maroonish colored. Ah, uh, yeah. Take that off. Yeah, can when I? When you eat those, nothing red, nothing maroon. Only the white. Only okay. the whitest of the meat. You right. like that? They're no different than crappie. No okay. Crumpy. Okay. I'm gonna try it then. Cause I, I, cause I tried it twice. Yeah. I tried them twice, and. Gotta but, get that yeah, they taste, yeah. Man, the fishiest of the fishiest. Don't. I know, yeah. But, uh, man, you gotta get up somewhere here. Like, yeah, in that, in that uh, been a big part this morning, though. Oh, yeah. This morning when it was, it was, it was, it was uh, yeah, yeah. Casting. Casting my, uh, yeah. Uh, I've been lately, uh, in the springtime, in the springtime, I use this a lot. In the springtime, I use these. Oh, yeah. That one awesome. color. This, I don't, I don't get no red, no orange. This what works for me, and um, yeah, yeah, you can get them at Bass Pro Shop too. Nine dollar for a fifty pack. But you, but you remember, I was, but I was out in the boat casting toward the land. Oh yeah. So yeah, you know, so if you catch it from the land, you're gonna get in that grass. Jason, what? What? That grass is horrible, man. Man, it's bad. Is yeah. that is that the worst it's ever been? Or I mean, it's no, all the way around. About two or three years ago, we had some mats. Uh, oh, it was. I went up there yesterday. Nasty out there, yeah. Every time I cast the first 30 minutes, I was putting the grass. Yeah, all that moss and shit hanging out there. Just yeah, frog just it. put that frog right over top. Just drag it right over top. And the whole time when you're dragging that frog, you're. you're, you're oh, yeah, moving. yeah. While you're reeling, you're just vibrating that Making frog. it, making it. Yeah, yeah. It's making them hot through that water. And like, like the, it's, like, it's like they do in real life, yeah. Yeah. But man. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I know it's a haul for you. I know. These are the ones I'm looking for. There you go. I don't even think much. I don't think it's going. Oh, there you go. There you go, you guys. Hand size. I would have never guessed that. Just, just looking at the size of this pond, I wouldn't have guessed it. You know. I, I see them sometimes. I don't know what this is. I tell you what, if I ever do want to come out and catfish, I'm going to throw right out here and catch these little jokers. Yep, and I'll be good to go. I'm going to eventually catch some kind of big old catfish. See, oh, she's having a good okay. She having a good old time. That's a bass. Have yep. tournaments to catch these things. When they, they get you bigger. Gotta, you gotta hold it, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And I, and and you're gonna be on YouTube. You're gonna be famous. That's yep. your first bass, huh? That is. As a fisherman, first bass. As a fisherman, you gotta stick it out like this. Yeah. There you, there you go. go. <laughs> that just added a pound to it right there. 
It's always an honor to have her on Mr. Slab Hunter Show first bass. <laughs> nice, nice. Congratulations. Now you're a bass fisherman. You certified. Okay. <laughs> pretty soon she's gonna get a, she's gonna get a, pretty soon she's gonna catch one of them five pound catfish. They're gonna freak her out. <laughs> Let me show you what I caught this morning. This morning, but I was playing game. My wife was like, Bring some crappie home so we can eat tonight. I was like, All right, hey guys, there's a snake right there swimming by me. A little water snake, you probably can't see it. I try to make it bigger, right there on top of the water. Nice bluegill. He's the one I be talking about. He's the one I'm talking about, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. He's the one. He's the one I'm talking about. It's the worm. So what they doing, I don't think, uh, Y'all using worms? Yeah. Y'all using little bitty hooks? Get baby hooks. Like, uh, yeah. Like, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll show you here. It might not be biting that little area y'all in. Let me get this out of here first. Okay, so you're going to need a little bitty. Y'all going to need little bitty hooks like that, right? Y'all probably got little hooks like yes, that. Sir. And then, like, if y'all come over, um, I don't know if they're going to bite right there. That's a big one, too. If y'all come right here, Uh, them gill, I'm catching them now. They out there, yeah, but in about two weeks, about a week or two, they're gonna be out here nonstop. But I'm catching them right now. I just found them. Did you see that big one I just caught? Yeah. And I got by four when I switched over to casting here with that little jig, with that little uh, with a worm on it, a little jig. You know, I got another one. Just hit a big gill. Yeah. Now they gonna, but but like right now. So you gotta work for them. But in about two weeks, by mid-May, whole June, whole July, you ain't gotta work. Just drop out there. I got one now, just drop out there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you ain't gotta be worrying about it. They gonna hit it. As soon as they hit the water with a, with a cart, or no cart, but soon, well, you know, I can feel with no cart, but a cart, ain't gonna have to count. Hey, look. Fishing for these. Caught a catfish about that big. Oh, you got a catfish like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These, these ones I like right here, yeah. Hey, you want to try with that bobber, bro? Just to see if you get you get one? You want to try here with that bobber just to see? Because if I'm catching them like this, you got to catch them with the bobber. Look, every time. All of y'all, every time. That thing will be full if you, if you kept them. Yeah, so you get a bite now. Ooh. Yeah, let me see, let me see. I think you got a big old hooker. It, 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 it might be, but they can, they can eat that though, no? They can eat that. Look at that, I got one way right there. Acting a fool. He little though. 
Uh, wearing them on, on a little hook, yeah. Yeah. I'm just casting, but I can feel it though, you know what I mean? A first, uh, if, if you ain't fish, you ain't gonna be able to know. You ain't gonna know if you ain't, if you can't, you ain't never fish. This is a big blue girl. You got some. You got something so big. They be having that pole bent. Yeah. 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 He going home, me. He going home. I'm cleaning all these eating them tonight. Yeah, you gotta get that smaller hook. Yep, that's the one. That's the number six hook. Yeah, that's the one right there. There you go. Got another one. That's a good one right here. Watch when y'all put that on there. That number six hook. Yes, indeed, you guys. They getting ready to start spawning, you guys. Big boys. You must tell them what kind of vehicle you got. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, they, hopefully. They don't charge, do they? I ain't never had them like that. I ain't okay. Yeah, no, they, they shouldn't charge you. I hope not. Hope they don't. I hope they don't <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got a mail you. Now, normally they're supposed to just roadside assistant or something. I thought maybe they would reach out to roadside assistant. Guys, I'm putting these bluegills out left and right, you guys. Putting these jokers out left and right. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'm, I throw it out there and then I let it drop. I can like about three, four seconds. A little bit, of, I count my head. Then I just slowly bring it back. But you see, sometimes they hit it before you even do it. When they, when they, when they, uh, oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. Okay. That's it. All right, guys, man, I'm done for the day. So I had a great day, man. A lot of bluegills, a lot of crappies, and I helped some people catch some fish. A young, a family was out here, the guy told me he wasn't a fisherman, asked me how I'm catching those bluegills. I showed him how to set the, uh, showed him the hook size, the depth, and when this family started catching crappie, uh, bluegills. That's what it's all about. And I met a gentleman named TJ, him and his daughter. They were catching bluegill. I saw Jason, I met Kyle. So, great day, man, on the, on the Fish Creek. I'm about to call it a day, about to go home and eat, relax with the family, and thanks for watching as always. Uh, and we'll keep it going next time, man. So you guys have a blessed Sunday, peace.